In this video, I'm gonna be making tiger butter fudge. Uh, this came from sixsisterstuff.com. I will share the link below, right below this video, in case you wanna click on it. Make a tiger butter fudge for yourself. Uh, you need two and a half cups of milk chocolate chips, and I have the Guitard brand. You need one cup of white chocolate chips. I'm using the Nestle Toll House. You need one cup of peanut butter chips, which I have Reese's. I don't even know if they make another brand of, of peanut butter chips. Um, you need two 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk, and you need one teaspoon of vegetable oil. You also need a nine by nine inch baking pan. They're telling you to cover it with aluminum foil and then spray it. I use parchment paper. If you want to use aluminum foil, you can. I think use parchment paper for everything. That's just me. So, in a large bowl, you want to take uh, pour two cups, two cups of cho milk chocolate chips and a whole can of sweet condensed milk. It's probably gonna be just about this whole bag. Yeah, guess what? That's the whole bag. So, if you buy the guitar, let's see what size this is. This is a 11.5 uh, five ounce bag. That's just, two cups. Yeah, just plan on using plan on using the whole bag. Yeah, and we do need another half cup, so we'll have to get the other bag down. Yes, we. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so you're gonna have to buy two bags. If you use that. If you use this brand, yeah, you're right because we need another. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so then pour your sweet condensed milk in here. Now in this another bowl, you want to do a have a cup of white chips, okay, and then you want a cup of peanut butter chips, and then we're gonna put um, the other can of sweet condensed milk. Fortunately, I have another bag of the guitar milk chocolate because now you want in your last bowl, your third bowl, you want to take half a cup of the milk chocolate and then this is where you're gonna pour your oil, pour your oil in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our first bowl with the chocolate chips and the uh, sweet condensed milk and you're gonna heat this in the microwave. So you're gonna go for, uh, Kevin usually goes for 15 second intervals. 60 seconds the first time. For, yes, and then 15 seconds after. Yeah, just stir between each one. And then we're gonna, we're gonna melt this completely. So here's my melted cho milk chocolate and I'm gonna pour it straight into my pan, my prepared pan. leave this here and now we're gonna do the same thing uh, we're gonna heat this in the microwave and melt it completely and we'll be back so now we're gonna pour our peanut butter and white chocolate mixture over the milk chocolate Lastly, we're gonna heat uh, the milk chocolate chips and the oil. We're gonna heat it up for 30 seconds and then melt it, uh, uh, microwave it until it's melted. Now it says to drizzle this over the top. So we'll see how well I do that. <laughs> You can put this in the refrigerator if you don't mind waiting a little while. Uh, or you can put it in the freezer. I always put my fudge in the freezer because I don't like to wait. I'm sure there's a way to make this prettier, but I don't know how. I'm gonna put mine in the freezer. It'll probably be in there, wow, probably, I would think at least an hour. Uh, but then we'll come back and we'll cut it and we'll see how it looks. 
Okay, this has been in the freezer for about an hour. And this is why you want to use parchment paper instead of foil and, and greasing it. I don't get why people do that. I will tell you right now um, that I wish instead of saying just drizzle over the top, it's fine that they said to drizzle over the top, but I wish they had had you take a knife and swirl it through there so that it would have been smoother and wouldn't have had these lumps on top. So I do wish that because that would have made it so much nicer, but it didn't say to do that. That's why I didn't do that. I guess it just depends on your method of drizzling. I don't know that anybody could have drizzled that and not Unless had... you stuck a fork in it and like... That's what I'm saying, you know, but they didn't tell you to do yeah, that. Yeah, they didn't tell you to do that. Okay, so you're supposed to get 40 pieces, but I'm just going to cut it the way I would normally cut fudge. With milk chocolate, white chocolate, and peanut butter in this heavenly tiger butter fudge, it's the perfect Christmas dessert. I didn't even know I was looking at Christmas desserts, but um, yeah. So, um, uh, like I said, this is from Six Sister Stuff. It says prep time 10 minutes, total time 10 minutes. That's not in counting the time you have to wait for it cool. to set up. Yeah, and if you leave it in the refrigerator, it's gonna take longer. Um, it says each piece is 112 calories. I'm sure if that's if you get, I got what, 36 pieces? Mm -hmm. And this said it made 40, so I'm pretty close. Uh, so, let's see, here we go. It is a little uh, kind of sticky yeah, fudge, isn't it? it is. They're very thick. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. But it is a very thick fudge. Mm -hmm. I also got a big hunk of the chocolate on top. I did too. Now, if you get the really thin layer, the really right. thin strings, I don't think it's going to be as bad. I am disappointed in the directions that they didn't tell you to mix that in. Um, that, for me, it, it tastes good. There's nothing good. bad about it, but I would not want, I would not want to make it again. That's just the truth. It's very tacky and I want to be able to pick up a piece of fudge and not get it all over me. And I don't want it to be, it, it's honestly, it's very, very thick. Mm -hmm. And, and I used a nine by nine pan. So usually you, you either use an eight by eight or nine by nine. So I, I mean, we spread it out further going nine by nine, but. Yeah, it needed to, the layers need to be a little bit thinner. I think, yeah, I of think. Of course, if you made it too much thinner, I mean, too much bigger of a pan, you would have a hard time spreading it because that chocolate was really, really thick. Yes, it was very thick. And I used the good chocolate. I used mm -hmm. the guitar chocolate. If you use Nestle, um, Toll House, it might it be not thinner. Even, it might even thin, thick. It might even thicken up this thick. Right. Um, it's just, um, it's a very thick, it's a lot to eat. Even for one little bite, it's mm -hmm. a lot to eat. I do think the flavor's good. Yeah, but the flavor's good. You get the chocolate, you get the peanut butter. I don't really taste the white. I think the white just adds a lot of sweetness to it. Yes, absolutely. But I get the chocolate and the peanut butter for sure. Mm -hmm. It's more for me, I guess, about the texture. And I will definitely store this in the refrigerator. I'll put it in an air cut airtight container and leave it in the refrigerator. And it worked. I mean, there's nothing, it's not bad. It's just, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'm disappointed in the look of it, the overall look of it. But now you're watching this video so you can make yours look pretty. Yeah. Like I said, when, and when you're drizzling, instead of pouring it, take your spatula and dip it in there and kind of like 
do this over the top of it with your spatula just let it fall and thin like strings. but i would still I would, take I would something and i wouldn't go down if you take a knife i wouldn't go down to the very bottom just of barely, the pan just barely go over the top and make swirls and i just yeah. i think it would be much better than these huge clumps of chocolate I'm, I'm not pleased with the look of it but even just the texture of it it um it's just a it's a tacky it's, it's very thick Yes, Very it is. It's kind of sticky and thick. Yes. So this would be one you could make, absolutely. I personally would pass on it. Yeah. I mean, the, I like the flavors, though. Yeah, the flavors are good, but but I don't know how you could do the same thing and make it any better. Yeah. Make it not tacky. Make no, it not thick like either. that. I, I just don't know. Uh, but I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.